Hey guys, it's me, Kermit, I'm your favorite non-amphibian. I'm gonna start finishing up the videos for my bedroom. I thought today would be a great day to show you guys my comic book collection and my vinyl collection and how I store them. As you guys can see, I have my bookcases right here. This is my bed. I have all this empty uh, space back here where I decided to put my comic books, my vinyl, and my record player. So I put them back here by my bed because I had some empty space. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the crates and start showing you my collection. Since I redid my room, um, things have changed. I used to have my vinyl and my comic books over in the corner by my mirror where I used to film. I had to change that because I had quite a, uh, a lot of both comics and vinyl that I did not have before. So I had to find out a new way to store them and then also I completely changed my room. Uh, both collections in these nice little crates. They're really heavy. <laughs> I picked these crates up from Target for a couple bucks each. Um, I have a blue one and a white one. Um, my favorite thing is they're stackable. I might grab another for more comic books and that they're perfect and super ideal for holding vinyl in. A little information about my collections. They're not really big collections don't need to be massive in order to be impressive or important to people. I started collecting comics I want to say in 2015 and I collected them for mostly about a year on and off collecting since then. My favorite place to go is Second and Charles so Second <laughs> one of my favorite places to go. That's where I've gotten most of my comic books and most of my vinyls from. It is a secondhand store, but it sells used comics there. And depending on how popular the comic is, what time period and stuff, I probably have never spent more than five bucks on a comic. And I think I've paid as little as 50 cents. So I wanted you guys to know that before I jump in. And now we're going to start the sped up versions of my collections. I think we're gonna start with my vinyls because there are not as many of them. Yeah, here we go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you the front and the back of my vinyls, um, and even some of like the cool little details on the inside of them. Um, just so you know, any um, vinyl record you see without the plastic covering, except for the Grimes ones, because those are new, but the older ones, that means I got them from the free box at Second and Charles. Um, just so you know, if you have any other questions about my vinyl, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below and I'll get to them.
is my vinyl collection. A lot of um, soundtracks and musicals because I love movies and I love musicals. So the rest is going to be my uh, comic collection. I'm not going to pull everything out because I'm lazy and this is going to take a lot of time. Best of luck. So right off the bat, we're seeing a lot of Spider-Man. You're going to see a lot of him throughout this video. I love him. He's my favorite superhero. You've been warned. Also, I hope you guys haven't blinked. I go much faster for the comics than I did for the vinyl. Um, so you've probably missed some. I used to... Um, organize my comic books really neatly. They used to be organized by the date they were released and the number of the issue, um, but letting friends borrow it, you know, adding to my collection, that system has been ruined, so this is just gonna be a lot of random comics throughout here, and I apologize. Besides Spider-Man, my other favorite superhero is Kamala Khan's Miss Marvel, just so you guys know. One box down, one to go. Okay, so these comic books are two-in-one books. You can tell by the bold blue strip at the top that says Marvel Heroes, and that's what I was talking about earlier in the video. I'm not pulling these out to show you what the comic on the other side is. Just know that they're two books in one. I got them for between $1 and $2. So now we're into the bulk of my Spider-Man collection. I'm really grateful that I got these House of M comics. I got all five of the Spider-Man ones and I'm also grateful that I got the Dr. Octavius Spider-Man comics and um, all of the Spider-Man ones from here on out I think should still be organized in the date that they were released and the issue number of what I have. I've got the two for one comic books with Spider-Man 
and another character on the back. And these are the newest comics that I've bought and added to my collection. So well, that was it for my record vinyl uh, collection and a lot of comics. Ah, a lot of comics. Of course, not as much as some of you guys and my collection isn't nearly complete. Most of my stuff is is from second hand, so I find what I find and that's it. Look forward to some more of my collection videos. They will be coming up, so um, yeah. So I'll see you guys next time and make sure you check out my plugs.